Hey you guys, what is up? Adway Jayhawk here, as always. And yeah, so for my my other friend, my airsoft teammate, uh, Samurai, here's a link to his channel right about here. Now, what I got him for Christmas, <laughs> he wanted me to uh, swap gear boxes to this gun. This gun to be exact. It's an old TMM4 wrist that he had souped up, and over the years it just deteriorated and broke. So he wanted me to swap gearboxes out of this one and put into a Magpul M4 receiver that he had got, the shell. And yeah, so I did that for him. I also tried fixing the gearbox for him. Fortunately, that inevitably failed because um, I did not know what the problem was. I, I swapped a whole bunch of things out, you know, and uh, and it kept locking up on me. I'm not sure why. Uh, I tried everything, you know, adjusted the motor height, unlocked the gearbox, looked in the internals. I, I couldn't figure it out, so he's going to send it to a shop later on. But after I swapped the gearboxes, um, I decided to add a few more goodies on there, and I also completed the gun for him. Because I was in a in a, a rather generous mood. But here's the old gun. Uh, let me just move this out of the way for you guys. Here are the old hand guards that the Magpul receiver came with. Old King Arms hand guards here. I replaced it with a rail system, which you'll see soon. And here's the gun itself. Uh, I'm quite proud of this. As you can see, the Magpul tan receiver. Uh, there's some trade there for you. Magpul's famous... um markings for the safe semi on auto there you go their Magpul logo and I like this texture thing here in case you wanted to grip it I don't usually grip but I usually hold it out here but I like it uh, so anyway start from the back we have the standard LE stock and the standard buffer tube six position I believe or, no, no, this is a four position. Um, what else do we have here? We have standard pistol grip. Housing a GNP high speed motor. And what I like about the Magpul receiver is that it almost has the enhanced trigger guard built into the receiver, so you don't have to get it yourself. It's, it's um, one solid piece, so there's no, there's no, mm, it's very hard for you to break it. Uh, I have a very, very old carrying handle on here. I got it for Christmas several years back. I had given it to him. We have the hop-up unit. Nice hop-up unit. I forget what brand it is. This is basically a hodgepodge gun, because all the internals are different. Different hodgepodge things mixed together to make this this almost a uh, Frankenstein gun, you know? <coughs> and here we have a single point sling adapter that I added on there. Charging handle, port assist, non-functioning. Uh, trigger here we go, right here. Uh, non I, I don't know why, but this, uh, this mag release is sticky for some reason. But yeah, it, it still works, it's just sticky. I'm not sure why, I might WD-48 or something. No, not WD-40, silicone it. WD-40 will kill your gun, especially if it's an airsoft gun. Real steels are fine, but airsoft, I wouldn't recommend using WD-40. Okay, here's the dust cover. It doesn't close, unfortunately, because this piece right here, it, it sticks out too far, and it it, it hits the um, gearbox, in the gearbox, so I can't really close it. But anyway, here's a UTG rail system, and this thing is on solid. It's not going to budge on you. It's held in by... Oh, you can't really see that. It's held in by four four Allen keys. Here I have a PEQ2 housing a 9.6 battery. And here's the uh, Tamiya connector. It's front wired. Oh, I also have a vert grip on here. Two tan Magpul XT rail covers and two black XTM rail covers. We have the tri standard triangle front sight, the sling point, 
and with this gun, it came with um, unusual. Uh, it's a clockwise threaded outer barrel. That's what came with it, and um, luckily I had an old clockwise threaded pistol silencer on here, so I decided to throw that on to conceal the carbon length inner barrel that I had lying around. It's from an old Classic Army Sportline M4 wrist. Works rather well. Just get this on real quick for you guys. And um, yeah, this is pretty much his, his Christmas present. I said I was in a generous mood. <laughs> I think it turned out really nice. I just hope we can get that gearbox fi fixed and working so that he can use it on the field, you know? Um, but, yeah, that's, oh, here, I might as well show you the mag compatibility. We have a standard snag type M4 magazine. You can see it's kind of sticky from the bolt, the mag release. See, it gets stuck, but there you go. Works perfectly. Nice to use the gun. I just, I hope I can get this mag release fixed fixed for him. Other than that, I think he'll be happy with this. If he's watching right now, Merry Christmas, Samurai. <laughs> uh, but yeah, be sure to check out his channel. And while you're here, you might as well like this video. Maybe share this video. Comment on this video. Maybe even subscribe, you know. <laughs> but until then, remember to have fun, play safe. This is 808 Jayhawk signing off.